aimed originally towards older people. Not that I'm older, but, but it's yeah. <laughs> and Justin is not older, but it is a sport for all ages because he is like a professional level. He's very, very good. And you, you can all work at it no matter what age level you're at. If you have uh, knee problems or shoulder problems or any other physical uh, disabilities, doesn't matter. You just adapt to it. And we, we played people. I played an 89 year old in South Carolina who could hardly walk onto the court. Or, yeah. And, and he, if you lobbed it over his head, he didn't get it. He couldn't. But then he could control that ball and place it wherever you worked. And mm. so he said, you just have to learn to adapt and make it work for your body. So um, anybody can play. It is addictive. And um, it is a lot of fun. And it's also great exercise. Probably better exercise for me than Justin because I'm not so good and so I do a lot more running. And, so I really get a workout when I come home. And um, it started in Hayes probably about two and a half years ago or so. Uh, just barely got off the ground. And my sister is an avid pickleball player in South Carolina. She's a national ambassador and she really encouraged me when I retired to get it going in Hayes. And so um, I met with Roger a lot and we worked really hard to get it going. And then um, it just went from there. Justin really wanted to see outdoor courts. He's an avid tennis player. And so between Justin and I, Jeff will tell you, um, <laughs> we did not go away. We stood at his doorstep for a long time until it, it got accomplished. And we have these beautiful courts. So I'm going to let Justin go on in. Yeah, I mean, like they're about two and a half years old, and it's really gone organically, really. There's been a few of us that really got a lot of playing and got really aggressive. And now we're seeing the, the folks who have been on the sidelines wondering what this is. And it's the kind of sport, no matter where you go, um, where people embrace you. It's not a competitive thing. It's not uh, anything like that. So you feel very comfortable going anywhere and just joining a drop-in game. And what you'll see is people put their paddles on the side waiting for a court, and it's just usually next up. So you just go and play with whoever is the next up with, with you and your group. Um, and people don't judge you. We see people of all fitness levels, all ages. And they just have fun, so it's a great sport. And when you do get good and you want to start playing in tournaments, there are tournaments around. We do have a couple. We've had a couple here in Hayes, uh, and then some of us go outside of Kansas even and play some tournaments. And like Gina said, it's incredibly addictive, especially if you grew up playing tennis or badminton or ping pong or any kind of paddle or racket sport. Uh, as you get older, you know I play tennis and I coach my kids playing tennis. And I hit a certain age. You know what? Running sideline to sideline and front to back catch a ball from a 20 year old isn't quite as much fun for you. <laughs> <laughs> pick a ball, you can dominate those kids. <laughs> I've regained my glory a little bit. It's a lot of fun. So um, we wanted to thank some folks though, for sure. So the Hayes Chamber, DHTC for sure, Hayes Rec, uh, they were instrumental in getting this thing going. Specifically Roger. Yep, Roger. Uh, and all of you for coming, obviously. We also want to thank the city commissioners and Jeff for pushing this and getting it through the budget and making sure this got done because playing indoors is great in bad weather, but in great weather, the outdoor is the only place to play. It's a different game and it's a lot of fun. So if you get a chance, come down here. And now we have some new courts. You don't have to go to a basketball game and set up a temporary court. And only their lines either painted or taped on, you can come down here and come So thank you for that. Um, also want to thank Guy Winholtz. He is coming into today. He was our unofficial publicist for our Pace Pickleball Club. Today, now he is the director of public relations. <laughs> <laughs> Justin and I are the only two on the board that we both voted yes. I, I gotta say, oh here he comes. You <laughs> know me not to mince words. I, I go to the Hayes Pickleball Club site, and they had this thing with them guys at night. I accidentally hit that heart button. I want to tell you, I have no love for these guys. <laughs> Him and, and the rest of them, they beat the crap out of me all the time. <laughs> um, also, I want to give a big thanks to Mike and Jeannie Michaelis because they really were the super aggressive folks in getting everybody to get involved. She's my partner in crime now, so we're, we're doing everything humanly possible to get people to play. Um, so, and, and really, what we're doing here today is really just to get the word out. 
So everybody that knows, we have multiple times you can play. Tuesday nights at 5.30, uh, group of us play at the 12th Street Gym. When it's, and I'll say as of now, when it's not nice out, we'll be here, for sure. Uh, Wednesday nights at 6.30, and it's starting to earlier and earlier. Yeah. So come anywhere between 5 and 6.30, and you're going to start seeing people. Last night, I think we had 24 people. Yeah. And that's just drop in play. Yep, just drop in. That, and that, the Wednesday nights is the only time that we actually charge a dollar uh, because the gyms are reserved. And in order to reserve it, you have to, like, drop in volleyball is a dollar, uh, drop in pickleball is a dollar. But all the other times, it's free. It's open gym. So. And then most mornings, uh, about 8 o'clock at Hayes Rec, there's a group of, of folks who play. So there's never a lack of opportunity. And then obviously, now that we have these courts, you grab one person plays some singles, grab three people play some doubles, come anytime you want. So it's a great sport, and uh, I appreciate everybody coming out. This is fantastic. Yeah, this